So, what's the evidence for the resurrection? First, the empty tomb, and secondly, several claims that Jesus actually appeared to his followers. The Gospel story is that Jesus' uncle Cleopas and a friend were walking near Jerusalem on the road to Emmaus when Jesus suddenly appeared to them. At first, though, they didn't recognize him. Is there a rational explanation for the appearances? Bereaved people sometimes experience apparitions. They're so stricken with grief that they imagine their loved ones are alive again. But according to Dr. Mark Goodacre, in these tricks of the mind, the bereaved always recognize the person they're seeing. But the Gospels say this didn't happen. Now, this means that somebody is seeing Jesus who is a family member, who knows what Jesus looks like, and yet somehow he doesn't recognize him. So this, in a way, also stands against this kind of hallucination sort of idea. And you also find that there are quite a number of different recipients of these visions, including women. It's well known that if you want to make up some sort of tradition, you don't uh, pin it on women in the ancient world because they're not reliable witnesses. So it's not the kind of thing that uh, you, know, you, you make up. The Jews had words for hallucination and resuscitation. The word resurrection was used by the Gospel writers to describe something else altogether. It's not just that he'd come back like what we would call a near-death experience where somebody's clinically dead and then astonishingly revives again. It is as though he has gone through death and out the other side into a different sort of embodiment for which there was no precedent and of which there is no subsequent example. The Gospel writers, as they tell the story, are clearly saying it in the tone of voice of saying, I know this sounds crazy and I know this doesn't normally happen, but that is what has just happened. So where does that leave the story of the resurrection? Well, there are rational explanations, but as we've seen, they're not 100% convincing. They could have made the story up. There's no hard evidence that the resurrection happened. In the end, after 2,000 years of arguments, it's really very simple. Either you believe it or you don't. Everybody agrees, though, is that Jesus' followers must have believed that he'd risen from the dead. It's the only way to explain the rise and rise of Christianity.